Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, The 13 Days of Halloween, Jack's Spooktacular Countdown, October 20th. The Nightmare Before Christmas, Part 2. Jack spent days in his tower until finally he had an idea. Eureka! This year, Christmas will be ours, he announced. The townspeople below were thrilled to see Jack acting like himself again. Jack quickly assigned everyone a job, making things for his special Christmas, except for Lock, Shock, and Barrel. He gave them a secret job and made them promise not to tell anyone. Leave that no account oogie boogie out of this, he said. They crossed their fingers and agreed. Then they hurried off to attempt their devious task, kidnapping Santa Claus. Jack told Sally he needed her help the most. Sally looked up at him and tried to tell him about the terrible vision she had seen. It was about your Christmas. There was smoke and fire. That's not my Christmas, Jack said. My Christmas is filled with laughter and joy. He then showed her a drawing of himself wearing a Santa suit. I want you to make it, he explained. In the days that followed, Halloween Town buzzed with excitement as everyone prepared. Sally sewed Jack's Santa suit and all the creatures worked on the toys and gifts that Jack would deliver. Inside Dr. Finkelstein's laboratory, lightning flashed as he brought a team of skeleton reindeer to life. Jack couldn't remember ever feeling so excited. He could hardly wait for the big day to arrive. On Christmas Eve, Santa was checking his list one last time when the doorbell rang. When he opened the door, Lock, Shock, and Barrel grabbed him. Meanwhile, as Sally helped Jack put on the Santa suit, she tried to warn him again. You don't look like yourself, Jack, not at all. Jack smiled. Isn't it wonderful? But you're the Pumpkin King, she said. Not anymore, he told her. Just then, Lock, Shock, and Barrel arrived carrying a heavy sack with Santa inside. You don't need to have another worry about Christmas this year, Jack assured Santa. Jack told Lock, Shock, and Barrel to make Santa comfortable, but instead, they forced him down into Oogie Boogie's dungeon. Santa begged to be released, but Oogie Boogie cackled with delight. He danced around Santa and strapped him to a large spinning table. Then he hoisted Santa up on a hook. Still worried for Jack, Sally mixed up a fog potion to stop him. As Jack prepared the sleigh, fog filled the air. We can't take off in this, he said. But then Zero floated up and Jack noticed his bright glowing nose. To the head of the team, Zero. Sally watched sadly as they flew away. To be continued. This is 11 days to Halloween.